Federal Parliament is back today and the Prime Minister will begin with a moving emotion of condolence to honour those who've lost their lives in this season's devastating bushfires. David Moresi, Geoffrey Keaton, Andrew O'Dwyer, Samuel McCall, Bill Slade, Matt Kavanagh, Ian Macbeth, Paul Hudson and Richter Morgan Jr. Some of their relatives will travel to Canberra today to pay tribute to their loved ones. I conclude in honour to those we have lost and the deepest of our sympathies and condolences to you and we just simply hope and pray that as we've gathered here today to acknowledge your great loss and the heroes you have lost, that this will make your journey just that little bit easier. Today was the day the nation was supposed to pause and mourn the people who have died in this summer's bushfires, which of course are still burning. These are men and women who have been fighting fires uh, for months. But politics never sleeps. And even as their own constituents continue to fight fires and drought, the Nationals party room was having an unseemly fight over its leadership. What could have been a relatively smooth closing of the books on the departure of Bridget McKenzie and a simple vote on the deputy leadership of the Nationals erupted as many had feared when Barnaby Joyce made clear on Monday that he would challenge Michael McCormack for the leadership. The National Party has the capacity to stand in its own right, to be seen in its own voice, to be heard and be, be portrayed in its own colours. And I think that's vitally important, Lisa, as we go forward into an electoral landscape where there is the increasing prevalence of your third parties, the Shooters and Fishers, One Nation, the Independents. Joyce's challenge wasn't entirely unexpected. There had been considerable unhappiness, or at least restlessness, about the cut-through of Michael McCormack's leadership, but also plenty in the Nationals' party room who couldn't countenance the idea of a Joyce return. Yeah, I wish it wasn't happening, but it is, so uh, we'll, uh, make the party room, the National Party Room, will make our decision today and let's hope it puts a rest to everything. In such a small party room of just 21 people, it isn't just a McCormack-Joyce divide, but lots of individual swirling issues. It's also a party room where the actual votes are kept under wraps, so the outcome was unclear. Before the meeting, most predictions were for a split of 11 votes to 10, one way or the other. The uh, leader's position was won by Mr Michael McCormack, and uh, the deputy leader's position has uh, been elected to David Little Proud. Uh, without any further ado, I'll hand over to the leader. You'll never find out. <laughs> Well, it's a great honour and a privilege to continue to serve as the leader of the National Party. You'd think this would be happy news for Leader Michael McCormack and his new deputy, David Littleproud. I also look forward to working and continuing to work with Barnaby Joyce. Uh, the shenanigans are over. It's time to get back to looking after those people uh, that are facing drought, that have faced up to these fires. It's time for us to focus on them, not us. That's great. But it's not over. The Joyce challenge and the decision of Resources Minister Matt Canavan to publicly support him exposed the divisions in the party, particularly on climate change and coal. We need a bulldog, we need a fighter uh, to fight back against those who want to take away people's coal jobs, they want to shut down cane farms, they want to stop even Indigenous Australians developing their own land. These tensions flowed over into a brawl in the joint party room today between Liberal MPs saying the party had to move on and Nationals MPs saying the government had promised new coal-fired power stations. And there are other problems for the Nationals too. The Nationals women senators walked into the party room together this morning, a signal no one missed, indicating their displeasure about the fact that there was little expectation a woman would be promoted into Cabinet to replace either Mackenzie or Canavan. The brutal truth is no one in Parliament House is confident that McCormack's leadership is now locked in. National sources note that both McCormack and Joyce are vulnerable over grants programs, in a way similar to the sports rorts affair. How those stories unfold could determine whether the ongoing tensions within the Nationals and the bitter McCormack-Joyce divide will ultimately be resolved by a clean pair of hands. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.